Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back. I do apologise. I have been away from the camera for far too long. Unfortunately, life just sometimes gets in the way, stops you from doing what you want to do. But we've got lots of works going on at the house. The garden grew like you wouldn't believe because of all the rain and sunshine that we then had. So I've been extremely busy and distracted and been brought away from my camera for some time. However, I haven't stopped doing my astrophotography, having my amazing Astro Bloke Village uh, Observatory, I've been able to keep capturing. So that's been amazing. Today, I'm gonna to introduce to you some really special filters that are made by Altair Astro. It's their three nanometer HSO or SHO set. So consisting of hydrogen alpha, sulfur two, and oxygen three, three nanometer filters. They're in the two inch variety, and um, I'm gonna just show you what they're capable of doing, um, and also just sharing a few thoughts with you. And I really do think these are, these are brilliant. So uh, stick around, I think you might be interested. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astrobloke. So I was uh, pointing my telescope at the sky and I wanted to do some narrowband imaging on WR134, Wolf Riot Star. I've seen a few fantastic images on this target and it really lighted me uh, to want to try and get a good image myself. So I slewed my scope round, and at the time I actually had my Antlia 3 nanometer SHO set filters and I found a problem. Because I'd reduced my scope to f3.6 from its native f4.8, which I've done so by using the Starizona Nexus Coma Corrector, it speeded the scope up and it showed a flaw in my Antlia filters. The HA and the O3, not so much, but the S2, definitely. I'm getting like a large flare off at the side. And I can only think this is some form of like filter shift or something. Um, and I spoke to Altair and they said that most filters are designed down to four, F4. Um, under that, they're gonna start to have problems. Now on the website, Altair, say that their filters are made to f4.8 for their best performance and um, that is the native setting for my ct10 however i thought well i can't not have a go i'll try i'll try these at f3.6 and i can tell you now i had no issues whatsoever no haloing no flares no artifacts they did an absolutely superb job now, I captured the Wolf Ray 134 um, during the period of July in the UK, and that is when we have zero astronomical darkness. So the three nanometer filters were really going to help here. And this just goes to show that even though uh, nautical dust to nautical dawn was like a period of about two to three hours, maybe four max, no true astronomical darkness, still able to capture a great image with a lot of detail. Um, so just because it's the summer and you don't have astronomical darkness doesn't mean you can't image, especially in narrowband. So I've been imaging all through the year. It's been great. Yes, the nights are very short. Yes, you've got to stay up very late to start, sometimes as late as 11 o'clock at night, half past 11. Uh, before you can even start imaging. But that's the beauty of my observatory. It's all remoted. I can even program it to start when I'm asleep if I want to, but I'm normally up. I like to be here, get it started, um, and then it will look after itself through the night. It's, uh, it's brilliant. And then when it's finished, it'll uh, 
turn everything off, shut the roof, and I can uh, wake up in the morning to a nice uh, computer full of data. So yes, this, these filters have absolutely uh, blown me away, to be honest. Um, let's say the two inch variety, and I own some chroma filters. I bought them used quite a few years ago. They're obviously phenomenal filters. They're three nanometer uh, SHO filters too, slightly smaller. But the price difference between them and these is incredible. So you can buy the full set of these three nanometer HSO filters for £799 in the UK. That's including the VAT. Now, if you take the VAT off, uh, I'm going to have to check. It's £665 roughly. And that would be what you would pay if you was an international shopper because obviously you don't pay our VAT rates. Obviously, there'd be a bit of postage on top. Don't forget, Altair do post worldwide. So it's well worth having a look. Now, the price for all three filters is, is just crazy because if you look at the Chroma filters, you're looking at £1,400 for one. So this is a real bargain. And if you just need one filter, they're £299 each, which again is a fantastic price for a premium quality filter like this. These are brilliant, and I've used them on f3.6 at 900 millimeters on my CT10. When you see the image, I think you'll agree, they do an absolutely fantastic job. And don't forget, I had no true astronomical darkness when this image was taken either, so they've done really well. I've got about 26 hours of data in total. Took me quite a few nights, I think 13 in total. So, as you can see, I've had to build this up very slowly. Do jump on Altair Astro's website and have a look at these filters. There's a lot of information on their construction and the things that they've done with them to help cut the light pollution and about their performance. One of the really nice things is they are doing an individual guaranteed spectrograph on each filter. So you're not just getting a generic printout of what the filter should be giving you, you're actually getting a, a readout on what that filter's performance is like. Um, which I think when you're spending a few hundred pounds on a filter, that's really important, a good peace of mind. <clears throat> Alter Astra are really leading the way in the UK with filters. They're doing their own coatings and they test everything. Um, they're doing an extremely high quality range of filters at great prices. So they're definitely something that you should be considering if you're looking for a filter. I know after using these, um, yeah, the, these would be my go-to. And I have absolutely no hesitation whatsoever in recommending these to you. So really, all that's left for me to say is please check out this image I'm about to share with you so that you can see just how good these filters are. Now this was a starting point for me because um, I then was in contact with Simon of Simon's Astro who was also imaging the same target. We decided then to get together and do a collaboration. And I'm going to do a follow-up video from this one with that collaboration and then you can see the final image that we both came up with. I'm really, really pleased with it. I know Simon is too. The detail levels we've managed to get I think are brilliant, especially considering the time of year that we've shot this. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to get this image out and share it with you, so I hope you like that too but I'll come up with that video very shortly. But in the meantime, please enjoy this image of WR134, and I promise I'll be back in front of the camera very soon. So until next time, please take care, and of course, clear skies.